Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Drosophila embryogenesis. So first we're going to look at mRNA expression, followed by protein gradients in the embryo, and finally we're going to be looking at a protein expression graph of the four main morphogens. That would be bicoid, nanos, hunchback, and caudal. So here we're starting to draw an mRNA graph with the x-axis representing the anterior and posterior end of the Drosophila embryo. And the y-axis is representing the mRNA levels in this uh, Drosophila embryo. So bicoid mRNA is represented by this black marker. It's present mostly in the anterior portion of the embryo. The mRNA here is localized specifically to the anterior end only via anchor proteins. After translation, the protein will diffuse throughout the embryo. So on the other hand, nanos, represented by the green marker here, is present and localized in the posterior end of the embryo. Similar to bicoid, after translation, the nanos protein will then diffuse throughout the embryo. Hunchback and caudal mRNA are present at a consistent level throughout the entire embryo. There is no localization because anchor proteins do not bind to hunchback or caudal mRNA. Okay, so now we're going to draw an embryo diagram that shows the protein expression and the diffusion of all four morphogens here. So this bicoid protein, represented by this black swiggle, is very concentrated at the anterior end of the embryo. It will diffuse into the middle of the embryo. The bicoid protein is also a transcriptional activator for zygotic hunchback and other developmental genes. But it also acts as a transcriptional repressor for the caudal protein. Nanos here, represented by the green marker, is really concentrated at the posterior end of the embryo. It will diffuse into the middle of the embryo as well. It is a translational repressor for hunchback protein. Therefore, hunchback protein cannot be expressed in the posterior zone. Hunchback and caudal both act as transcriptional activators for future developmental genes the fly will need. Now, let's take a look at protein expression levels in the embryo. As we go through this graph, try and compare it to the previous mRNA graph we showed and see how the mRNA and protein gradients differ. Bicoid protein is expressed similarly to its mRNA except for the fact that it diffuses into the middle, whereas the mRNA is localized. The same thing for nanos. It's expressed in the posterior region, but it also diffuses into the middle. Hunchback and caudal, on the other hand, have very different gradient levels compared to their mRNA levels. Where hunchback and caudal mRNA were consistent throughout the entire embryo, their protein levels are not. That's just because hunchback is expressed in the anterior portion, but is repressed by nanos protein, because nanos protein is a translational repressor. Caudal, on the other hand, is translationally repressed by bicoid. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And comment below any topics you want us to cover in the future.